Hello, thank you so much for coming back and joining me for today's video. So today I'll be sharing how I get ready for the cold and flu season on a budget. So um, if you'd like to see some of my top picks and some of my tips and tricks on picking up cold and flu medication on sale, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a video every single day of the week, plus I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you are notified when I do upload. Like I said, it is seven days a week. So, Okay, so school is starting soon. So whether or not you are a teacher, a parent with school-aged children, or if you are an adult that is going back to college, Cold and flu season hits hard, okay? So, you know, all those people being around and everything like that and germs, ugh, gross. I work at a call center. I know what that's like, okay? One person gets sick in the call center and then you just see everyone getting sick and it's really gross. So, I always like doing, getting a little cold and flu season kit, getting a uh, cold and flu season starting in late summer just because that's when you can find a lot of affordable on sale cold and flu medications. So, that's my first tip is look for cold and flu medications out of season. I know you can get sick any time of year, but I don't know if you've noticed, but when cold, cold and flu season like hits, that's when you'll see like the Dayquil and Nyquil go from like $8 for a twin pack up to 12 or 13 bucks for a twin pack. Cold and flu medication can get very, very pricey very, very quickly. So make sure that you are shopping for it pretty much all year round. Um, medications do have expiration dates just like any product out there. But a lot of times, even with them being on sale, they're still going to, you know, they're still good for another year, year and a half. So I want to share some of the things I have picked up. I'm not done yet, but I'm, you know. So very first thing is the traditional medicine seasonal tea. So this is the seasonal sampler. It comes with 16 tea bags. Tea is technically, it's not medicine, but I like doing more natural stuff so that way I can do the natural stuff and take over the counter medication. It can really help to make you feel better. So this comes with a Gypsy Cold Care, Echinacea Plus, Throat Care, and Breathe Easy. So yeah, I saw this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. Um, but anyway, so this is non-GMO and it is fair trade verified. So. You know, I think that's pretty cool, but I'm excited to try these out. Sometimes there's nothing better. When you have a sore throat or a congested chest, having a nice hot cup of tea can really, really help. So I did pick up two boxes of that. I actually picked up three, but I'm giving a box to my mom for her birthday. So but this was the very beginning of my little kit. And then at my local Kroger's um, last week, they ended up having the Zarbi's cough relief. So it was, anyway, it was on sale for $2.99. Okay, it was a regularly $7. So it's supposed to soothe and support a health and immune system. It's supposed to help soothe sore throat and cough. And yeah, it doesn't expire until 2022. So once again, it's on sale but it's still good for another almost two years, so I do like that. There's no drugs or alcohol, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors or dyes, and it's also gluten-free. So yeah, it's supposed to help soothe the throat and clear mu mucus. Um, it helps to help, it helps with hoarseness and irritation and everything like that. So I did pick up two of these that did come with um, six packets. So with Sean and myself, you know, I work at a call center. So anything that I do come in contact with, I do tend to bring home to him. So once again, not very awesome. And so I'm excited I was able to pick these up. Let's see. Um, so right here I have the daytime non-drowsy Kroger sinus congestion and pain. So this is supposed to be comparable to the Tylenol cold and sinus. So my other little tip is buy store brand when you can um especially when it says compare to okay so when it says compare to it's pretty much the same thing it's just with a store brand label instead of tylenol label this does come with 24 caplets so 12 servings technically and it helps to really leave sinus congestion runny nose that kind of stuff the stuff that hits before like the chest cold, right? Um, so yeah, I got this for like 250. 
which is a killer, killer deal. So shop store brand when you can. If you know that a particular store brand does not work for you or your family, then of course get name brand, but definitely try to get store brand when you can. You can save a ton of money. So definitely recommend doing that. I was able to find a three pack of Blistex medicated lip ointment on sale for 99 cents. I love Blistex during cold and flu season. Um, these, the Blistex works great on cold sores. Um, when I get sick um, and my immune system goes down, that's when I'll pop up with cold sores and they're very uncomfortable and a lot of people feel like unsightly with them. It's just part of it, okay? But this does have an ingredient in it, um, the um, camphor, menthol, and phenol that can help shorten the life of a cold sore and kind of dry it out. This is also great for putting around those chapped, cracked nostrils when you're blowing your nose 50 times a day slap some of this on at night and it's really going to help to soothe and moisturize that area so when i saw it on sale for 99 cents i couldn't help myself so i actually picked up another container a little box put in my giveaway because when i find good deals and stuff that i really like i'm going to pick them up for you so this is going to be going in my giveaway when i reach 2500 subscribers so one of you lucky people will get be getting some on sale Blistex, you're welcome. But yeah, it was a killer deal, so I had to pick it up. But yeah, this stuff is awesome. Helps those dry chapped lips from coughing. And I don't know about you, but when I'm sick, I do become a mouth breather. So I get really bad chapped lips. So yes, I think this is a necessity for anyone that's going to be doing a cold and flu kit for sure. Okay, so my next thing is, okay. Cough drops. Cough drops are a necessity. Okay, so right here I've got different cough drops. And guys, the Assured is actually the Dollar Tree brand. Guys, go cheap, go dollar store brand when you can, and the best time to do that is cough drops. So 35 cough drops for a buck. These do have the same active ingredients as Hall's cough drops. Hall's cough drops sometimes they're on sale for a dollar fifty sometimes they're two or three two or three dollars a pack so if you can get um different flavors for a buck at your local dollar tree family dollar whatever definitely skimp where you can cough drops are one of those things where you don't need to buy name brand in my opinion even at the, my dollar tree they have like the knockoff ricola so if you don't like the hauls which personally they're not my favorite because if i eat too many menthol cough drops it actually will make me have an upset stomach but Get dollar store brand or the really cheap store brand when you can um, with the cough drops. I also have here um, some Kroger brand. These you only get um, 30 and I think these were like $1.25. So I do prefer the Assured from Dollar Tree. I do like those a lot. Um, another place where you can skimp and get dollar store brand is the chest rub. So this is supposed to be comparable to the Vicks Vapor Rub. And, yep, it even says it compares to Vicks Vapor Rub. Once again, mm, I love I love Vicks Vapor Rub. So, this is a brand new container of it. You d do get four ounces of it for a buck at Dollar Tree. Once again, wherever you can skimp and get, like, dollar brands, go ahead and do it. Okay, so the chest rub, I've been using this for years. I really do love this. I remember I did a cold and flu like medication things that you can buy from the dollar store that actually work and the chest rub i love this stuff i will not buy vix brand anymore because the dollar store version is that awesome once again it is the assured and it's just as great as the vix love doing this with a scarf or something around the neck it really does help to break up congestion and it's probably um it's probably like in your mind when you're like, oh, I feel so much better. Because I think a lot of us grew up getting fixed vapor rub put on us when we were little, when we were sick. But this really does help to clear those passages and soothe those kind of inflamed mucous membranes from being inflamed and being sick. So that so far is my cold and flu kit for 2019. Um, I'm going to keep looking for stuff to pick up. I'm going to have to get a bigger container. Um, but that's okay. So once again, make sure that you're looking all year round for discounted cold and flu medication. There's so many times I've, I've experienced this myself. Um, maybe I didn't have the money during 
you know, when medicine was on sale, so I wasn't able to pick it up. And then cold and flu season hits and you're sick as a dog and you don't have anything in the house and you have to go out and spend $13 on, you know, the medication. And it sucks because you're sick, you don't want to leave the house, and now you're having to spend a lot more money than you would have wanted to just to, so you can feel better, so you can go to work or go to school or take care of the kids. So having a little kit for cold and flu season, it's not only being proactive, but it is going to save you money in the end. Like I said, like I always say when I'm doing like more like medicine type of videos, this does not replace proper medical care, so make sure you are going to the doctor when you need to. Um, there's lots of free clinics out there. There's lots of clinics out there that are based on your income, so there we go. Another thing I would suggest um, is having fresh garlic and honey in your house. There's lots of things that um, garlic and honey can help with. Um, if you don't have specialties, and you know what? These might do nothing. I don't know. I haven't tried them yet. But just a regular either green tea, peppermint tea, black tea. You can get a hundred of them at the dollar store for a buck. Um, a little bit of tea and honey really does help soothe the throat. I have tried this one personally myself, so has Sean. A little bit of, like, you get a little piece of fresh garlic and kind of squish it so the the juice and oil comes out, put it in a little piece of coffee filter and stuff it down the ear when you have an ear ache or an ear infection. Within two days, it's feeling so much better. Um, I've tried that one numerous times and now I always do have fresh garlic in the house because it really does help. There's lots of things out there that you can do if it's just a cold or just a small basic flu. A lot of times if it's a cold, they can't do anything for it anyway, but anyway. Yeah, I just wanted to share my little cold and flu kit with you. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to keep looking for stuff. I'm going to the dollar store today, actually. And once in a while, you will actually see brands like Theraflu. Um, once again, hit up those discount stores, whether it's Big Lots or if you have, like, a discount store in your town. Hit up those discount stores because a lot of times they will have name brand medications, over-the-counter cold and flu medications at a huge, steep discount so there we go but um i hope you enjoyed this a little bit different type of video but remember my channel is about budget living and while i do love skincare and makeup and i save a lot of money on those those places as well i do kind of do budget all across my life so i wanted to sh i want to start sharing more of those aspects it's not just makeup and beauty for me i do do budget living all across um, my lifestyle. So anyway, um, if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also make sure that you share this video. Not only does it show that you are enjoying my content, but it also gets it out there for other people because there might be people out there that don't think about looking for cold and flu medication all year round when it's on sale. So let's get that out there. Um, also leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing to have in your cold and flu kit or medicine cabinet what helps you and your family feel better quick i would love to know down below in the comments don't forget you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media twitter facebook instagram it's all at budget glam babe so don't go anywhere quite yet i should have another video that start auto playing or you are always welcome to click on one of the ones that will be popping up around me so yeah let's hang out a little bit longer i'll see you in just a second